nobody cares about your copy as much as you do. to look out for when reviewing copy. Is this copy confusing? Is this copy unbelievable? Is this copy boring? Either of those three things will absolutely kill persuasion in your copy. Every reader and every prospect approaches your copy with desires, notions, and identifications. Desires are what they yearn for or what they yearn to be rid of. Notions are what they believe about the world. What they believe about the world might be different from what you believe. And identifications are what they align with in the world, the things that they feel set them apart into their own little tribe, whether it be gender, nationality, race, or even a sports team. You can be a successful copywriter and write successful copy if you tap into only one of these three things, but the truly breakout successes come from tapping into all three. People can only ever focus on one thing at a time. If your copy is intended for everyone, your audience is precisely no one. When you revise, don't just look at what you write. Think about whether the idea behind what you write even deserves to exist. How was that? It was very good, Mom. Awesome. If you're wondering how to spend your day as a copywriter, think 25, 50, 25. 25% of your hours dedicated to learning and upskilling. 50% of your hours to the actual work and research. And the other 25% of your hours goes to outreach or networking within whatever organization you desire to work in. The simplest way to think of your job as a copywriter is to find out what people want and then show them how to get it. For your prospects, encourage their emotions, justify their failures, allay their fears, confirm their suspicions, and help them throw rocks at their enemies. Oh God. Data is important, but a conversation down the pub is often 10 times as useful. There's no one copywriting formula that's perfect for every scenario. Better to learn the principles and internalize them and then apply. There is no secret in any copywriting course that can teach you more than real world experience or the data you can glean from your own efforts. Only ever write truthful, sincere copy that promotes a genuinely good product. Your first thought is rarely your best thought. If you cannot delete everything you wrote and return to the blank page, you are not a writer. Cross-pollination is king. Elegant writing emerges from clarity, not the other way around. Specificity is the easiest form of implied authority to implement. People buy on emotion before they buy on logic. Learn to interrogate your writing rather than doubt your writing. Even incredible copy can't save an undesirable offer. The principles of copywriting remain the same, but the strategies and tactics are ever-changing. If you are not aware of what is working in the world, then nothing you put into the world will work. The biggest difference between indirect and direct advertising comes down to immediate action.
just as packaging or plating improves the perception of flavor. The way you present an offer or service largely determines the value you can demand for it. People are more likely to agree with you if you first agree with them. You should never try to educate in your copy. Never. If you want more of our favorite copy maxims and quick copywriting lessons, then we're updating a resource in the Patreon. Click the link in the description below to join.